Hey everyone, welcome to tutorial number 9 of Easy Excel, part of easyprogramming.net. Uh, today I want to show you something very simple, very quick. This is the uh, third formatting tutorial that I'm doing in a row. Uh, today is about Format Painter. You'd be surprised how many people don't know about Format Painter. Uh, it's this little tool right up here under the clipboard section in the Home tab. Uh, what it does is it copies formatting from a specified cell and it paints it pretty much copies only the formatting across other cells that you specify. Uh, the good thing about the Format Painter is that it's actually across all Office applications including Word, PowerPoint, Outlook, Publisher, OneNote, and probably a few others that I'm not mentioning, and of course Excel. Um, just a quick tutorial on how this works. Uh, for example, I have this formatted number here which is a hundred dollars with a dollar sign with two decimal places if you click on format painter and you select any of these numbered cells like I'll select 200 it copies the formatting just as you see it here it copies all formatting including if I have the font changed if it was like let's say I change this to you know Adobe Haiti if I click on format painter and I click on this it copies everything the number format the the font, the font size, etc. Uh, the thing to know about the Format Painter is that when you use the Format Painter, it copies and overrides whatever format the painted cells have. In Excel, you can click and drag across so that you can format, so you can copy the formatting across more than one cell. Uh, the other thing to do is let me clear this out clear formats. Uh, you can also double click on Format Painter here and it will permanently stick the painting paintbrush the the format painting command to your cursor. So if I click on it once you see that the format painting the paintbrush does not disappear it's still on my cursor. So I can skip 100, go to 50, go to 10, come back to 100, etc. Uh, to cancel out of this you can either click on the Format Painter button again and you see the paintbrush goes away or you can press escape on your keyboard so I double click on red text so I can select a random series of text to make red and I'm clicking escape let's click bad style whoops I did not double click see there you go uh, Format Painter also works across worksheets. So I have one more worksheet set up here. So I just double clicked on this. Uh, one more worksheet set up here, just three little things. It says I'm in worksheet two. So I can click on this and copy the format across worksheets. It does not work across workbooks or across applications. So you can't copy, you know, Word to Excel or Excel to Word. Uh, And the last thing to know is that you can't, although you can copy the format painting from a number to a text, you actually will not see anything until the any of the number formatting until you actually put a number in there. Like I just copied this 100 into easy and programming. All you can see is that it only changed the font type. And it changed the number to currency, but you can see the dollar sign of the decimal places until you change this to something. So if I put 500 in here, you'll see that it puts the dollar sign in the two decimal places. Uh, but doing it in reverse, like red text, I'll format paint it to $100. It gets rid of whatever formatting it had before, because remember it overrides. Uh, well, that's there. That's all there is to know about Format Painter. If you know it in one application, you know it in all of them. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to ask. Format Painter is a very useful tool to know, especially if you're working with large data. You want to just copy format really quickly. You don't want to go through each of the steps, you know, one by one over and over again. Uh, well, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe to my channel and visit easyprogramming.net. Thank you.